Okay, order matters. That is the important part about this flip-flop notes that we're taking. Use your highlighter to highlight the title, but especially the part that says order matters. In these three boxes, we are gonna put what an inequality has in it. It has three parts. What part is in the middle of an inequality? We have the symbol in the middle, thank you. And when I say order matters, this has to do with when we're graphing it. It's important that we have what on the left side? The variable on the left. And what on the right side? The number, or the fancy term is the constant. So for example, I'm gonna put x is greater than or equal to seven. Okay, so inside the flip-flops, we're gonna take some notes. If you have to flip-flop the sides of the inequality, then you must also flip-flop inequality symbol. going to do this with words and symbols. So in an example, if we have 11 is greater than x, it would be written as 11 is greater than x. This means the same thing as x is less than 11. And I would like you to show with your highlighter how the sides and the inequality flipped. 